My most difficult challenge has been uh, public opinion and dealing with that. Uh, but I'm putting whatever I do on TV or being put out to the masses, either in film or television, and I'm asking strangers in the, in the entire world to like me too. And uh, which is tough. And it's, and it's hard to take in the feedback. And it's hard to take the feedback whether they do like me or they hate me. Like both of those things are very strange. Like I just, I just uh, started a new Twitter account. I started it in October, and now I have almost 100,000 followers, which is pretty quick. And I and I just in October because I hate Twitter. I think it's disgusting. Like it's it's ridiculous that you as a stranger can type something to me and I see it. <laughs> I think technology has gone too far when I can see some of these racist comments and like in Alaska and like and it makes me cry in my bathtub. That's too far technology. Stop it. <laughs> but like I have to have it. It's a tool of, of what I do. It's a tool. But I just hate it and it's too much it's too much public opinion, and also it's like, it's not just the bad stuff, Some of the, a lot of the good stuff can mess you up too. Like, if I tweet something now, because I was just on a American Horror Story that has a huge teenage following, and so anything I put on Twitter, I swear it's all 13 year olds, queen, you're a queen, Gabby, I love you, I love you, have my babies, Gabby. <laughs> It's really, really hard because, not because I'm sensitive, not because I'm a baby or because I'm a crazy person, but because I'm a human being. And so the things people say make an Im imprint on me, an impact, and an imprint on keep it. I just like anything someone says. If I feel like, if somebody like wrote on Twitter, I saw you at Target and you didn't take a picture with me, bitch. <laughs> Smiling even though I do care. Smiling even though I'm hurt. 